Okay, so we're gonna first come in, we just hit power, main menu, we're gonna come in and go to projects. And right after that, we're gonna say um, new. And this project, you're just gonna grab a name. So we're just gonna call it three, four, five, street, enter, and store. Then, back, but continue is what we wanna select. Now we're in that project, so we can then arrow back once, up top, and there is this stylus right down here on the side that you can pull out and use as well, but as you saw just a second ago, this works really well with just that. Um, so from here, we're just gonna go right into scanning, and we're gonna go setup, and after setup, we wanna make sure that setup method is on quick orientation. And then station ID, which right now there's none of them. We're just gonna say new at the bottom. So we'll tap new here, point number. This is our first scan of this project. So we're just gonna type in one. Northing is gonna be zero, enter. Easting is gonna be zero, enter. And elevation is gonna be zero, enter. And then we just simply hit store. And from there, we hit set. Um, when we hit set, we wanna make sure that it's facing like due north. So we want to rotate our scanner to where it's facing a direction, uh, but it's going to be the same direction every time you scan. That'll just help the post-processing part. So we're going to say set azimuth, and it, the azimuth is at zero, so we'll just say set azimuth. And then from there, it's going to come into your settings. Um, we want to make this relatively quick, so we're going to be on scan only, and then from scan, from this section here, um, we want target on uh, target all as well. And then Okay, so in range, or uh, we want to take this off of range and put it on speed. And then our resolution, um, halfway is 145, uh, 149. You can click one up. These are probably the two settings that I would use the most of. Um, so this is a three minute, 30 second scan like I think you're currently using. And then the next thing is view. Uh, image we don't need to worry about because um, we're not taking images on this one. And then this minimum range, uh, we can just arrow back, and once you're there, it's in this. You want to use this set orientation, quick set, yes. And then this just because I hit arrow back there, it kicked you back into the same menu. So don't feel like that one screen that you saw is alarming you. So from here, right before uh, these are all the settings, right before you're done, you're going to tap that level bubble and you're gonna fine tune adjust that level bubble. You could also look here at the top um, and adjust it with the screws on the bottom and get somewhat close and then fine tune it right here. Um, so we're just gonna rotate it back and then you could just fine tune it. Um, really, once you're in the center, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be good enough for our scanner. So it's plenty close enough. We're just gonna hit continue. And then from there, we we're gonna hit start, start, and it's gonna begin its process. And yeah, that works. And ideally, you wanna make sure that your handle is turned off, but because this is a presentation video, um, we're not actually uh, um, doing anything other than just running you through the setup. So you wanna remove your handle. Uh, it's checking its level now, and then the scanning is going to start. Now that you have a scan, if there's something we needed to focus in on, right here is a little box with a uh, corner and a corner. That'll allow you to select a window in the model. But for instance, if we wanted to scan something in detail, that capture, I could go right here to this box and select it and it's gonna highlight it green and you can capture as much as you need of it but something of the sort would just drag it up like so. And now it's got our scan and there's a check mark right here. 
So that will allow us to check mark it in and scan only that location. So when I tap it in, now it's got a custom view here for field of view. So this is where it's only scanning that window. So the next time you scan, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you change that to um, back to scan all. So right now, what we're gonna to do to scan that window is just simply hit start. It said 34 seconds on our timing. We could have increased our uh, density, uh, you know, scan location there, um, but we just left it the same. So we're gonna quickly scan this picture on the wall. So now it's completed, and the scanner is going to come around and zoom back uh, into that image only on the scanner. So now, as you can see on the scanner, we now have just that image of that window that we selected. So um, that's available now to scan in. If you needed to do more detail, and it looks very pixelated here, that's just because it's a flat surface and it's in a, a photo, but um, you could even go into another window and get it even more detail uh, as much as you needed. So um, just know that you can keep going on those. Since we're completed, we're gonna arrow back, and then we're going to, from here, we're gonna arrow back, and now we would go into setup and pick up and move our scanner to our new location. Okay, so we would go to our new location. After that, we would go new. We would select our point number two, because that's our second scan station. Our northing would be zero, easting zero, elevation zero. So this would be our second location, as it says station ID 2. We would hit set. Right here, field of view. This is where we want to make sure, because we did that window scan, we want to make sure we come right back here and say target all. That will put in the full range. We are still on scan only, but if we wanted to, we could select here and go scan in images. For now, we're just going to leave it on scan, and then we simply hit start. And in this particular one, I'm going to drop the resolution up all the way down so that we can do a really quick scan um, and from there I like to stay here and it says estimated time 20 seconds and I drop the settings simply for the video so start uh, do you want to re-level when you see this that means it's out of level so you could say yes but um, do you uh, it says compensators out of range do you want to re-level uh, that's I click yes and it's gonna pop up that level screen and then we're just going to quickly dial that in. Um, and once it's within the range of the bubble on the inside, you're actually good enough. Um, but we'll go ahead and dial that down. And it's somewhat close, so we're going to say continue. From there, it's going to start its scan. It's only a 20-second scan, so it's going to be really quick. We're ready to export uh, our scan down. To export, <clears throat> you're just going to grab a thumb drive, plug it into the side, select arrow back, arrow back, and arrow back. And then when we export, we're going to go into Tools and Transfer projects and this is going to be our project you could arrow down and select any one of the other ones but we're, that's our project and then it says to USB right here so we tap that and it's going to go through the export process So complete's done. So you just arrow back. And if you keep arrowing back, it's gonna to this point, it's gonna allow you to shut down. Do you really want to shut down? 
yes. It's going to shut down the scanner. We can remove that thumb drive and we've done our data transfer.